One of the last things you need to know when you're getting your website set up is where you can get a logo. Now, maybe you have some good design skills that you can use to create your own logo. And if you do, that's fantastic. Go ahead and do that. Um, make sure that you have the right licensing for any images or portions of images that you use. Um, you do need to make sure that you follow that pretty closely since this is gonna be a business. There are a couple options for those of us who don't have amazing design skills, who aren't really that confident um, with creating our own logo. And the first option is kind of a half-half. It's half somebody else helps and then half you do some of the work. And that's through Vectorstock. Vectorstock has stock images that are available to be used for logos. You can purchase the licensing that allows you to use it as your logo. Now there are a couple issues with this. Um, the first issue is that you really do need to have some knowledge of pro a program similar to Photoshop um, to be able to get your um, the image that you choose into Photoshop to be able to add some text to customize the fonts. You're going to need a little bit of expertise. So if you have some basic Photoshop skills, you could probably use this option. And it's a really good option. It's not terribly expensive. Another issue with vector stock is that since these are stock images, um, anybody is allowed or they all have the rights to use the same image that you used, uh, which means that you really don't have any trademark with that image. Um, that isn't really that big of a deal, but it's something to keep in mind. So you cannot trademark your logos if it's from Vectorstock because other people can use it too. One upside to this is that it makes it really easy, um, but there are a few issues there. For those of us who have no design skills at all, um, there is an option where you can pay someone to do a logo for you. And the one we've used in the past and have had a lot of success with is called 48 Hours Logo. Uh, what you do is you sign in, you sign up for their service, and then you run some sort of contest. So you give an idea, um, you write a little description of what you want in your logo, and then you run a contest for 48 hours and you put up prize money. It's either a hundred or $150 um, or somewhere in there. You put up the prize money and then different designers come in and they make all the different designs based on your description. And then after the 48 hours, you choose which one you like the best, choose the winner. The winner gets the, um, the prize money that you put up. This has worked well for us in the past. We've always gotten great logos from this. So this is a good option. It does have a little bit of a cost associated with it, but it is well worth it. You get a great logo. The last thing I have to say about logos is if none of these options really fit your ability or your needs right now, it's okay. It's okay if your website doesn't have a logo for the first few months that it's up and running. Once your site has 30, 40 articles written on it, you probably should have a logo at that point. But in the beginning, it's really okay if you just don't. Um, so take these options for what they're worth, choose the one that works for you, or if you just need to wait out for, and hold off for a while, that's okay too. Just don't let it hold you up from getting to the content.